You can either record to the cloud or locally on your computer using Zoom Conference. I've got it open behind me. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'll teach you how to do both recording types. If you want to reference recordings of your calls, either for yourself later or to share them with clients or coworkers, or even to optimize them so a video editor can take your calls and turn it into content for social media, for your website, for marketing materials, whatever it may be. Let's get into the tutorial. All right, here we are in Zoom conference. I'm up here in the corner. The green version of me is actually in Zoom. So to access the main settings menu, you can either click the up hash mark down here in the bottom left-hand corner next to video or the up hash mark next to your microphone mute and just click audio settings or video settings. It's the fastest way to get here. Then within this menu, you'll want to go to the recording tab, which is right here, where you'll have all of your settings for recordings to set up ahead of time. The very first thing I highly recommend doing is changing where your recordings go to. By default, it'll go to like a recording folder or a videos folder on your hard drive. Change it to something you recognize. I recommend doing a separate hard drive if you have one and creating a folder called Zoom Recordings by clicking the Make New Folder button and then hitting OK. Great, now you know where all your recordings will actually go when you're done with sessions. There's an option here to either let it give you a manual prompt when you end meetings to choose the folder every time. I recommend turning that off. Choose your folder and send everything to the same folder all the time. It makes it easier. If you want to optimize your video recording for an editor to use, either for social media content or whatever, you'll want to check this record a separate audio file box, and you'll want to check the optimize for third-party video editor. Trust me, your editor will thank you for doing that. If there's going to be screen sharing in your presentation, you'll want to make sure you check the record video during screen share. And if you want the person's face to be next to the screen sharing in the recording, you'll want to check this secondary box right here. These are my default settings for recordings in local recordings, and it's a good general set of settings to use for local. Cloud, on the other hand, is different, and you'll need to manage cloud by clicking this button, which will require you to go to the main Zoom website. So let me close this menu, pull up the website, and it'll look something like this. Within the Zoom dashboard, this is how you can manage your cloud recordings, and I'll show you how to hit the button in a moment. It's just very important to understand the settings first before you start recording, because you won't know where the files are, trust me. So here in the Cloud Recordings tab, you see we're in the Cloud Recordings tab, all of your cloud recordings you've ever done are located here. The important thing you need to know is you can download all of them from here by hitting the more button or you can delete them by hitting the more button. But most importantly, you're probably looking for the share button, which is right here. Click the share button and the easiest and fastest way to share is to make it public and to let viewers download it and to turn off passcode protection. That's the easiest way. Then you can click the copy sharing information to clipboard. It'll literally copy the link to it and you can copy paste that. As you can see, boom, there's the information. You can put it in an email, in a Zoom chat, whatever, okay? If you want to protect your recordings, then you can select options such as only authenticated users can use it. They'll have to sign in to access it. You hit save. You can also add an expiration date to the cloud recording if you want it to self-destruct. Uh, at a certain point if you want the link to self-destruct and you can also have registration required or you can add a passcode. There's a ton of different security features. You decide which one is most appropriate for you. That's how you download. That's how you share. That's how you delete. You can also see here by clicking local recordings, all of the local recordings on your own computer. It's not that easy to access them from here, to be perfectly honest, but it does provide them to you in a nice tidy list. Here's my favorite way to access them, which is actually opening up the, fo the folder on your freaking computer. It's way easier this way. Then once you do, you can double click and you can go inside and find the actual video recording itself. It'll say zoom underscore something. If you see files within the local recordings folder that says double click to convert, don't be scared. Uh, what that means is that the file didn't convert, convert when you were done using it. And so you can literally just double click it and it'll convert it into a proper video file, which will show up within your Zoom recordings folder. So if it doesn't automatically convert, it's fine. You can just double click to convert and it'll work for you. 
you'll get the local recording. Great, so how do you actually record? Now that all your settings are done and you know understand all of that, it's a button down here at the bottom, of course, that says record. Here are your two recording options. You can either record to this computer, which is your local recording to your local folder. As you can see, there's a prompt up here in the top right hand corner that says you're recording and everybody on the call will see that. Okay, you can pause the recording and then you can hit play and start the recording again if you want to take something off the record or there's a bathroom break or whatever. As soon as you hit stop on the recording manually, it will be automatically converted when you end the meeting. If you want to convert your recording into a MP4 file before that, a video file before that, you'll have to manually go to your folder and double click to convert. That's why double click to convert happens. I know that confuses a lot of people. The last option here, of course, is cloud recording. It'll send your recording directly to the Zoom dashboard I showed you earlier. Click record to cloud and it looks exactly the same, but now the files are going straight to the Zoom servers. You have the same controls that you had before of either pausing and resuming the recording. And when you're done, hit stop. And this will pull up a different type of menu, which is why I did the tutorial. And you hit yes, and you will get an email that says your recording is ready. It'll give you a link to the recording so you can go into the Zoom dashboard and access it in that location I showed you before. That is exactly how to do Zoom recordings. And if you're interested in getting my help, doing a higher level recording or setting all this up. I understand I've done multi-million dollar webinars on Zoom. It's a very powerful tool that some of you know, it can do way more than what I just showed you. And if you'd like help, you can schedule one-on-one -on -one coaching with me and I can walk you through whatever your broadcasting needs are. Or you can just scroll down my website, awalldigital.com, pick your day, pick your time, enter your email, your name, pay, and boom. I'm on a technical call with you, helping you succeed and helping you master Zoom and all of your broadcasting needs.